Hey, greetings Patreon supporters. Welcome to the weekly update. Isn't that interesting? I've got a Mila crystal here, which we are going to be taking apart and washing. And these painted Milas can go in the dishwasher where the red plastic, not so much. I can't figure out what it is, but there's something about my basement dishwasher that does this to the red plastic. Uh, yeah. Well, don't you worry, even though the plastic was discolored, as you can see, I have remedied that with a little bit of vacuum polish and hard work. So I'm kind of a little bit more cautious about what we're putting in the dishwasher these days, though most vacuums still can just be thrown in the dishwasher. It's something specific to this red color that Mila used, and really not any other brand. I attempted to talk about this in last week's vlog, but the camera shut off halfway through my speech, which is probably for the best since I've received a few more boxes since then. As part of the weekly update, I just want to talk about bags and filters and eBay and all that. So I ran out of FJM bags and GN bags at exactly the same time. So I went on eBay and found boxes like these for under $10. Some of them completely sealed, even though they came here destroyed. This makes me sad, but I have a new box for it. And I want to explain, since I haven't opened this up and it came here completely destroyed, why I chose to go this path on here and not with the set of current bags from my local dealer. Though somebody did send me a set of current bags. Um, I can't really blame them, but that was their listing. Probably a dealer or something. Anyways, so if you're unfamiliar with Mila bags, and this is content that should go on probably the main channel at some point. Maybe I have a video talking about this. Uh, all right, I've got my favorite old FJM bag, and you can see what size this is right here. Uh, that is a certain size. We can see the other one right next to it. Aha! Uh -huh. And those are supposed to hold the same amount. And I guess... I could stretch my mind and say, yeah, maybe it's kind of close, but not really. And I have pictures of me filling one of these up and then filling up the previous generation and that just not working. So this, even though it's a 3D HY clean, and they're, they're, the HY clean is one of the marketings, but this is the same as what's sold currently, this bag here. Um, this holds more. Not to mention the material is ripstop, so if you get glass or something thicker like that, it's less likely to completely rip through. And the material um, on the new bag is thick, but this is just thicker and nicer. Uh, there's just something about this generation of bags that I really like. Now, I've got some of the classic bags in the other room, but we won't talk too much about those. But yeah, so I've got these, so I maybe I'll use those or give them to my folks or something like that. Uh, we'll see. They're just going to sit here for a rainy day in this box. Huh, it's odd there's a thing on here. You know what? These are European marked ones because there's no UPC and that has a European style barcode. Which is most curious, even though these, like I said, these are exactly the same as the current generation ones. And anybody, I guess I want to talk about, there's a statement from Mila out there. It's like the, the official statement from Mila on these bags. Uh, is that these were not supposed to come in the country and these void your warranty somehow because they're somehow different. They're not. They're just marketed different. And they used to have an HY clean uh, type of bag that they would market. So those are my FJM bags. Um, and show you the difference. And the same, uh, the difference is really big when we compare it to GN. The GN bag difference. Oh my God. Uh, well, let me go get them. All right, I went and grabbed GN because it's the same same story over again. We have the GN bag next to the old GN bag. And there's yet another generation GN bag that's bigger than this one, believe it or not. Um, but it doesn't seal as well and the material it doesn't filter as well. So again, it's just not going to be nearly as big. Even when they're fluffed up, this holds more. So that's the difference with GN, um, you know, right there. So that's a good third more dirt in the bag. Now here is an old FGM. It is almost as big as the GN. Now these never filled the corners 
These never quite got filled up as well, and the older generation didn't have a rubber gasket. It had the gasket material, the bag, which is better than nothing. But this type of gasket is much better, and I consider it an essential part of the bag. So even in my vintage machines, I run this bag. Now, let's talk about Mila bags some more. There are replacements. This is a replacement. Hey, you notice it's a blue collar. It is the size of an FJM. There's no question about it. It folds out. But, you know, this is maybe the size of the new GN bag. Much thinner material, though. This is the sort of thing that will hurt a Mila motor. I would never put this in one of my machines. Um, save that for somebody I don't like. Now, on the other thing of eBay. Yeah, it looks beat up, doesn't it? I was really concerned when I took this out of the box, and then it, it's perfectly fine. Again, 12 bucks on eBay. You can buy genuine HEPA filters. So this is a kind of going to be the theme of an upcoming video is when you need good equipment, how to buy it for less. Because a lot of people ask me about it. And this is just something that I do personally because I don't have a whole lot of money that I want to that I can spend on the channel. But two, I kind of think I'm, I'm obligated as a Patreon supported channel to spend my money wisely. So why not buy the disposable stuff like this when we're doing repairs? Um, for as least little money as possible. You know, I can, again, I can go into a dealer and buy some of these at cost, and I do that occasionally. But if I can get this older generation of bags still, oh, you best bet I'm gonna do that. I have been sent this Musu cordless vacuum by the same company that made that horrible upright. And I was kind of surprised that this really wasn't that horrible. The tools it came with were pretty bad, but other than that, it was decent you know, in terms of power and such. I wanted to explain a different way the Musu could be used if they would market it this way. So I've got a Henry attachment. Let's put it on and I'll show you what I mean. Is this Hoover's cordless? It's $2.99. That's probably the most most people are going to spend, you know, maybe $100 for the canister, right? Well, that's where this Musu would come in handy. They might not spend $600 for a cordless something else. So, Here's what I would propose that Musu should do, or somebody who needs one of these. Now I'm doing this on carpet. I guess I should have done this on hard floor, but you'll get the you'll get the idea when I do this. Got the Musu. All right. Carrying strap. Carrying strap might need to be adjusted for my big ass. Ah, that's better. Carrying strap. Put that high. Now, you have a one. Not the strongest. Oh, yeah, that works. You know. Putting a wand on this would be super handy for doing a lot of things. Sure, it's intended for car cleaning, but I really think if they had paired a better tools or that they would make a second version where they sold as a portable canister, this would be a really cool product. So I sent them an email suggesting such a thing, but who knows if they'll take that seriously. I feel I should send my contact from Hoover the same sort of email showing them this product and telling them that they should make something like this. Who knows, maybe it's in the work. I know Hoover's going to be releasing some new product at the end of this month. It's part of our weekly update, vlog, whatever we're calling these things. I have the Bosch, and the parts have come in through eBay, thankfully. Um, and first off, let's do the filters. It doesn't look it, but that filter really is bad. Um, 
So I was on eBay and one thing I've always liked to do for machines, this is a tip of the day here, is look for people who are just selling the supplies who are individual sellers, not a big seller. Um, and that's what I did. And look what I found. I got the HEPA filter plus this box of bags. Ooh, I hope it's not damaged. Um, for this machine. So there's the HEPA filter. All right. There's the HEPA filter. Plus I got the box of bags for $10 with shipping. Um, man, that gasket is huge. Yeah, these are the same bags. These, these are definitely the same bags. Um, oh. Uh-oh. That is not the... All right. I was hoping for the blue filter. There's a pre-motor filter that needs to go in this bitch. Um, hmm. All right, well, I ended up getting the other filters as well and the gear for this. So the Bosch is now back together as one piece, how it should, how it was intended. Um, cost about $35 to repair. Let's make sure it's on. And that's how we do that. I was gonna do this with the GoPro, but I realized I have the real camera set up, so you're gonna get normal audio and crap. Um, so I wanted to just go through the collection in the basement as it stands. There's the Viking I've been talking about. I'm in love with that machine. My Mila C3, my two Mila C2s, including my Red Velvet. We have a uh, Mila Art Rose, my S5000 Capricorn, my 514s. I say 514s, I only have one of them there. The other one I'm parting out. I have a 553 or 535, whatever it is. I got one right there, that silver machine. We have my Mila White Pearl, that's a 444. We have my two Mila 300s, the Bosch, which again, I gotta get a video, actual video out because that's just such a cool machine. In fact, there are, are some Bosches up for sale on eBay. I'm so tempted to buy one. Comment below if you think I should. I got the Zero G. We have that Hoover. If you remember that, that was a long time ago when I unboxed that. I've got my Dutch Tech. I'm still waiting on supplies for that. And I have my Cbo C3 right there. My Model 30, which I realized the hose on my Model 30 unfortunately is no more it is all in fact let's talk about that I'll show you some trick here so this is model my hose that was on my model 30 it's not the original but hey so if you do this when you tap the hose let me make sure we're getting this on camera okay when we're tap the hose you should be able to feel the air coming back in your face through here. And that's how you can tell if this hose is bad. And what happens with these is they just come on, down on there and the, the rubber inside rots. You can see right there kind of clearly what's in there. Um, so yeah, I'll need to get a Model 30 hose before I can do a video on that. I also need to find some vintage Eureka J bags. <gasps> um, because they fit that like a glove if you want to run a bag in there. And I don't know where mine went. So Constellation, Celebritard, my Lewitt are just all out. Then, excuse the mess, but I have my Henry's and some other stuff right there for now. Uh, well, I say Henry, the George is on loan. I don't think George's dad is ever going to pick him up. He is forever an orphan. Uh, I've got a beam power nozzle and some other accessories right there for now. So I just thought I'd show that before I rearranged this room. It was just kind of cool to see them all at um, eye level, you know, and out. Now I did a live stream on Discord the other night, just kind of impromptu, just for fun, because there were a bunch of active people on there. And I kind of showed off some of these machines then. So definitely join the conversation over on Discord if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Here's a preview of some upcoming content.